Otobone is actually a lifesaver for the first time in Ghana that they launched Tron and it's been working effortlessly since the coming of Dr. Bonia. Please watch. For the first time in our history, Ghana has drones for medical delivery, and Ghana is the world's largest medical drone delivery service. Makes a delicate but swift maneuver to then release its precious cargo in front of the small healthcare center in Ghana. This is COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> Uh, like for the first time we, we, we asked them to bring it this was something everybody was looking at it even though some people were saying that uh, is, is, is it witches flying at uh, in the afternoon and i was saying no this is um, a machine called drone that deliver uh, medical equipment on time barely three minutes later a second drone arrives it drops off its package and heads straight back to its base 80 kilometers away it's in this small warehouse that the orders are prepared and where the drugs and vaccines are stored. So they don't have to order in excess and keep it and then perhaps risk not storing it under the right temperatures. Over here we know that it's stored in the right temperature because if they need a few valves they call and then we supply it. Each delivery has a weight limit of 1.7 kilograms with enough doses to provide 2,000 people per location. Carefully packaged and set up, the drone is then programmed with the precise GPS coordinates of the place of delivery. It costs 20 euros to send, and it's all financed directly by Ghana's government. For doctors, their usage could also prove crucial in freeing up other resources. The health service has only one vehicle. So it means that if it has to go for vaccines, it's like a full day. I would have spent a lot of money on fuel to go and cut these things from the cold room and from the medical stores. But once the drone picks it up, we, we can use the vehicle for other things. While this delivery method focuses on vaccines, its uses can be extended for multiple medical purposes. And in places where healthcare workers are too remote to reach, one quick drop-off could make the precious difference in saving lives. For the first time in Ghana, that drone is actually working. Yes, courtesy of Dr. Bohemia, he actually implemented it. He brought this in, in, in power. He actually introduced this first, and yes, it's working effortlessly. You can bear with me that this is one of the easiest ways to save life, and yes, it's by cut every other means of transportation, both traffic and otherwise, and it has been saving life since it came into power. <laughs> This first call has been placed to the zipline office here at Vupsi. It sounds like a life and death situation warranting immediate action by the men and women here. The team is in a hurry to meet this need to save the patient. Per their protocols, it should not take more than seven minutes for such a request to be honored. We have very um, um, ambitious time targets where then once an order comes in, the longest it has to delay within us is seven minutes. So we have two sections, the fulfillment area and then the flight of area. The fulfillment area, our target is to process the package out of here in three minutes. The flight of area also have an ambitious target of doing so within two minutes. All the checks have been done on the destination of the drone. On the average, we make around 100 deliveries in a day. However, on a very busy day, we are able to fly as uh, many as uh, 150, 152 um, deliveries actually to um, health facilities. And also on a very busy day, we can ha have about um, 40 to 50 health facilities actually call in in a day. So on the average, we have um, about 70 health facilities to 77 health facilities actually calling within the span of a week for our services. This drone is on its way to Kubori Health Center in the Mampugu Mwagduri district of the northeast region. Getting into Mampugu Mwagduri from Tamale, you have to go to Bolga, go to Navrango, go to Sandema from BC before you go to um, uh, Mampugu Mwagduri district. And um, that will take you about six hours because the road is not very good. However, with our drones, it's just a 32 minutes flight to these facilities and then we are they're able to get the essential medicine that they actually want. In exactly 30 minutes, we saw the drone in the skies of Kubori two minutes after 
the parachute compartment opened for the package drugs to drop. Every day, facilities like the Kubori Health Center rely on the drones to help them save lives of patients who visit them. Most of the time, we used to have shortage of medical supplies for not less than two to three weeks before we normally get our supplies. And most of the times, when clients come, there are certain uh, medical products that when, even when you prescribe for them, they can't get it within the district to buy. Unless they go to Waliwale or send them out of the Congo where they can get the pharmacy to buy those supplies. And if I imagine an emergency that you would need a medical uh, emergency drug to save a life, that the person has to travel no less than three hours to send them out on a Congo before they could get those supplies for you to save a life. It used to actually affect us greatly. And uh, actually, we used to lose a lot of lives due to this kind of uh, difficulties that we used. Since the introduction of drone, lives have been saved. A lot of lives have been saved already. And yes, this is just the testimony of so many persons coming out to say that Dr. Baumia is really doing massive work in this country. <laughs> A distress call has been placed to the zipline office here at Vupsi. It sounds like a life and death situation warranting immediate action by the men and women here. The team is in a hurry to meet this need to save the patient. Per their protocols, it should not take more than seven minutes for such a request to be honored. We have very... Uh... Drone is actually one of the fastest, so we can call it jet or yes, to transport this medicine. And it's courtesy of Dr. Bomia. He has been doing it. And yes, he has done it again. And people have come out to really appreciate him for all he has done. For the first time in our history, Ghana has drones for medical delivery. And Ghana is the world's largest medical drone delivery service. It makes a delicate but swift maneuver to then release its precious cargo in front of the small healthcare center in Ghana. This is a COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> like, for the first time we, we, we asked them to bring it, this was something, everybody was looking at it. Even though some people were saying that, uh, is, is, is it witches flying at uh, in the afternoon? And I was saying, no, this is um, a machine called drone that deliver uh, medical equipment on time. <laughs> Barely three minutes later, a second drone arrives. It drops off its package and heads straight back to its base 80 kilometers away. It's in this small warehouse that the orders are prepared and where the drugs and vaccines are stored. So they don't have to order in excess and keep it and then perhaps risk not storing it under the right temperatures. Over here we know that it's stored in the right temperatures. If they need a few valves they call and then we supply it. Each delivery has a weight limit of 1.7 kilograms with enough doses to provide 2,000 people per location. Carefully packaged and set up, the drone is then programmed with the precise GPS coordinates of the place of delivery. It costs 20 euros to send, and it's all financed directly by Ghana's government. For doctors, their usage could also prove crucial in freeing up other resources. The health service has only one vehicle. So it means that if it has to go for vaccines, it's like a full day. But we'd have spent a lot of money on fuel to go and cut these things from the cold room and from the medical stores. But once the drone picks it up, we, ha we, ha we can use the vehicle for other things. While this delivery method focuses on vaccines, its uses can be extended for multiple medical purposes. And in places where healthcare workers are too remote to reach, one quick drop-off could make the precious difference in saving lives. Please do well to like, comment, follow, put on notification bell so you get all our updates one by one. Thanks, my people.